Jonas from you. Yep. And you? I'm um, Johan from you. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. The first question uh, is your first time in Thailand, right? Yeah. Where have you been? Well, we, we arrived here yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and so we had kind of like a half a day off here. Uh, yeah. We didn't see that much. We, we uh, had some really nice food. And uh, some of us went to the night market. Very warm here, very hot compared to yeah. Copenhagen, <laughs> which is nice and kind of exotic. How about you? Uh, no, I, I did the same. I, I, we did the same thing. So, ah. yeah. Now, in Thailand, have uh, just like a lot of uh, many singing contests on TV programs. How about your country? Yeah, we, we, have, we have obviously the X Factor. That's been going for 10 years, I guess. But I don't really watch it, no. I, I, no. I think I don't really like the idea of um, music or any kind of art form as a competition. Yeah. I don't really think that it should be a competition, you know. I think people just do what they do, what they want to do, and then some people like it, some yeah. people don't. You know, yeah. it's very simple. I don't think we need to, you know, put bands against each other or artists against each other. I, I don't really like the idea of that that much. Yep. So I don't watch that either. What different about music industrial in Denmark and, and other places? We've kind of been lacking behind Sweden a little bit. Uh, yeah. when, you, when you talk about the music industry, Sweden's always had really successful uh, yeah. bands since APA, you know. Yeah. And uh, Denmark has been a little more sort of under the radar. In recent years, it's become a lot better. We were we were one of the first bands that kind of toured all over the world. Uh, there was us and a couple other bands that that started doing that. And um, nowadays, it's it's more sort of a much more versatile, uh, you know, music uh, scene yep. in Denmark. Next, talk about new LP, visuals. Yeah. What different about uh, what different with uh, your current work, just like plus and minus? I think the major difference is that we we produced this album ourselves yep. and we made it a lot faster than we usually do. We we kind of just came off a tour. We've been touring a lot on the plus minus album, and we had a lot of great ideas and some good energy, and we just kind of kept going. Yeah. And uh, actually finished the album faster than we we thought we could, you know. So it's um, it feels a little bit more spontaneous, a little more intuitive to me this album, um, and uh, we, it's it's a little more internal. Like yeah. we we did everything ourselves. We we made the artwork and the videos and everything. It's kind of like it's very sort of like the core of who we are. I think you know. You have more more opinion? No, I, I just just think that it's it's it was good. It was a bit like when we were kids, you know, that we tried and uh, just be you know a little more open about if something musically felt right or felt good or sounded cool that we would just say, okay, that's great, we'll use that. And uh, you know, with age, you tend to sort of think more about things and, and, and sort of sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not so good, especially when it comes to creating uh, art or music. It's nice if you can sort of try and be sort of direct and in, in, in touch with your emotions as much as possible. Uh, this question for Johan, why you come back to band? Well, because they asked me. <laughs> actually, it was, um, it was, it was actually the, uh, the producer who produced Plus Minus, yes. uh, Michael Beinhorn, who I think um, when 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 the guys started working on plus minus, he 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 wanted you know the the, the sound of the record to sound you know like 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 uh, you know like the old Mew, and um, and and then I think you talked about it you know he talked with, with them about whether it could be a good idea to try and, and ask me, uh, and you know I think it had been we had spent enough time away from each other. For, 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 for the idea of playing together again to be really exciting for everybody. So, so it was just uh, an easy decision on my behalf, you know, when, he, when they asked. Do you need to say something about him? No, except it was great to have him back in the band and, and uh, after a very short time it felt like he never left, you know, so uh, it was great. Yeah. Well, you, you live in uh, Just Like Music Industrial maybe more 20 years, right? Please suggest new band in Thailand, what they should do for just like, if they have a new uh, inspiration, mm. what, they want, what do you want to say to him? I think, 
I think it's a, it's a tough question to answer because I, I'm not sure what we would, if we were starting out today, I don't know what we would do. I mean, would we try and just, you know, become really big on YouTube or I, I don't know what to do. You know, it's a, it's a different scene. I would say, uh, make sure you find your own voice, make sure that you sound like no other band, you know, be, find out what you're really good at and then do that full on, you know, that's, that's important. Mm -hmm. Um, and then just, yeah, yeah, just play lots of shows, be become great. Yeah. yeah. The last two question. What is Mew in next 10 years? That's a good question. I, we always try to do something different. We try to keep changing what we do and the way that we do things. We, yeah. we want to keep it exciting for ourselves because if we start getting into the habit of doing things a certain way it, it becomes kind of it's standing still yeah and i think if we if we reach that point it's better to just quit you know so we we always try to expand our horizon on every album so hopefully in 10 years we'll make a really really interesting album that will yeah. blow your mind